Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am finally filming the long-awaited pumpkin bong sesh. So I actually grew this pumpkin from seed. I have pretty much its development from when it was just a sprout of leaves and turned into this. I had lots of people telling me that it was a watermelon when it was growing, but it was in fact a pumpkin. Um, what happened actually was in my little area where I grew a bunch of sunflowers last year, I threw, I think it was actually one of my pumpkin bongs. I threw that over there to just decompose and I had so many, some people call them zombie plants, where it was just the seeds from, you know, this past winter of, or I guess winter 2019 of me throwing a pumpkin out there and then it just sprouted in spring 2020 and I got this lovely thing. The only thing is, okay, so I, it is, it is October 17th, I think, and I harvested this the last week of August. mom so I just have this terrible fear that I'm going to open it up and it's just going to be like a colony of maggots or just like molding on the inside so I do have a fear for that they do say that pumpkins when they're picked like from the vine they have 8 to 12 weeks of life so it hasn't been eight weeks yet so I'm hoping we're good but I do have this like itty bitty little pumpkin that maybe we can make something out of this if all else fails I'll get my like power drill out and just like drill something all the way through um, I don't know but I'm going to start this off with a bong rip I'm actually in the same spot as my video last time I still have this like makeshift little cozy spot all set up and I just like all the Halloween decorations I'm also wearing my Halloween merch this is still available on my website in both the in both the long sleeves and short sleeves. Um, so you can head to silencetippy.com if you want those. I have a bunch of merch. I will definitely be doing some Christmas merch. Um, and the sun and moon designs are restocked as well. Also, I do want to add just here while I'm rambling off on random things, uh, I will be doing Vlogmas this year. I'm very excited. This is my fifth year doing Vlogmas. I started on 2016, did 2017, did 2018 on theweedtube.com when my channel was down, and then I did obviously 2019 back here, and I'll be back for 2020. Um, but yeah, I'm actually using the same rig from our last video too, because I'm just obsessed with the changing lights. Oh yeah, you can see it. Okay, let's take our hits. I'm using my orange toker poker. Hands down, I think the most underrated stoner tool. I don't know why people smoke bowls without these. Being able to push down your weed with that instead of your finger or like just the corner of your ashtray or ashtray, the corner of your lighter, it really is a game changer. But hooray for our light up bong. We'll hit this while we're waiting for our pumpkin bong to be created. Okay, cheers. I probably should have gotten a bowl for like guts or something because I do want to open this completely just so I can like examine the inside. So let me go get that and then we will get started. All right, so I'm going to cut into this pumpkin. I got one of the little kits here with the tools that I'm probably going to break within the first five minutes, but whatever. I got the fun little scraper. Two different knives. Ooh, and then this thing's cool. Is this just to like mark? Ooh, yeah, okay. Oh, that was a little, okay. We're getting right into this. I, this might be like a couple of time lapses and stuff. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work. All right, I'm just gonna, oh, I'm so nervous. What if like bugs crawl out? Uh, you'd think they would be dead by now because it's been so long, though. Ooh, wait, this is nice. This is cutting so easily. What? Why is this so easy? Maybe because it's so ripe, the pumpkin, you can cut into it more easily. Okay. Well, that was much easier than I was anticipating. It looks okay. It smells okay. 
I think it's okay. Wait, let me bring you guys closer so you can see. All right, so I just did that. You can see it almost has like a bit of a crystally kind of look to it, but there is no mold in there. That is a solid pumpkin grown from seed, if I do say so myself. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a little celebratory bong rip for the pumpkin not being full of mold or maggots. Yay! <laughs> um, also, I will say, anyone that's like making a pumpkin bong, you don't have to carve it open and gut it. You can literally just like stick a hole here for the down stem, stick a hole here for the mouthpiece, and like call it a day. You don't have to cut it open. I just did that because I was, since this is like homegrown, I was terrified of there being like bugs inside of it because I did have that issue where I made a whole jar of pickled banana peppers for my garden and one singular maggot was somehow in one of them and it got into the jar and it was just gross and it, oh, it really grossed me out. It, uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers to that not happening again. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do our down stem, which I just took a down stem from a regular bowl. I might even, there's like this little nick on the side, I might even take that and use that as the mouthpiece, or maybe, or not the mouthpiece, the down stem. I want to be able to hold it so that this pretty side is towards the front, so I think that would be doable if I did that. I'm trying to like make an indent so you can kind of see like the size of the hole. Oh yeah, that worked. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to go a little bit smaller because you can always go bigger, but you can't go smaller. I'm definitely going to save a couple of these seeds to try and grow again next year, but I should definitely try and cook some of them. Ooh, maybe I'll let them dry out and then I can do that on Twitch with you guys. Alright, let's see... Oh, no. What? Oh, <laughs> it's clear so it just blended in with the ground. All right, that like works. That definitely works. It's like sticking into the center though, because the center like kind of pops up a little bit. Okay, I feel like there's guts in the down stem now. Yeah, there definitely is. Um, it's like a blow dart. <sighs> that was effective. Okay. All right, let's get that back in there. And now we're gonna make, where's my, here we go. And I also brought some water to throw in here too, so it's gonna make it much heavier, but whatever, you know. Um, oh, and then I actually have this little mouthpiece that's 3D printed that goes to one of my mason jar bongs. So it has like just this little hole right here and then it goes up to the mouthpiece. So I am gonna do it like that, I guess. And same thing, make the little like, indention, indentation, is that the word I'm looking for? Um, just on this side so I can kind of see where I need to cut. And then I can cut a small hole first and then kind of just like shove it in there. <laughs> this one's a much smaller hole so it's a little more tedious too. Got it. Now you can literally just cut a hole in the pumpkin and then just like go like this and hit it. And that totally works, you know? But we bougie up in here. We got our plastic 3D printed freaking things. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh my God. That's like it. All right. I am going to add some water to this. Um, actually, let's take one more bong rip too. totally enough. But I don't even need all of it. Okay, and then you put this back on top. And then... That's solid. Okay, let's pack the bowl. Let's run it, send it. I don't know, what are they saying these days? I have a little bit of Wicked Chem straight out of the Ziploc baggie to throw into my grinder. 
that's what we'll be sashing on this evening. Oh my gosh, I feel like this was just so easy. I'm so happy. Everything happened as it was meant to. I feel like my camera angle could have been better. I should have maybe gotten a second one going with my phone or something, but yeah, it is what it is. I should actually get a close up with my phone though of the pumpkin so you guys can see it. Here, let me do that right now. And I'll just like put it over the screen and you can see it. Here it is. Water in there. Seeds. Beautiful. Glorious. Little blemishes on the edge. Jack didn't have to get sacrificed. What a great night. The party rig is still going. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Cheers, thank you so much for everyone that followed me on the journey of growing this pumpkin all summer long. I am so excited for next summer's garden. I wanna try and do maybe a couple different types of pumpkins, maybe a couple gourds. I wanna try and grow loofahs. Have you ever seen a loofah plant? I really, really wanna try and do that and then make them into like, so you, uh, you like slice it and then you make soap and then you put the slice of loofah in the soap and it's like a natural exfoliator. I really wanna do that. Um, I would love to try a watermelon. I gotta try a pineapple again because this one was just a flop. I don't know, maybe. The pineapple is supposed to take forever to grow, but um, yeah. Loved my garden this year, loved it so much, and it was just so nice to be able to share all of that with you and eat my own produce that I grew. Like some of those banana peppers I was able to enjoy. Uh, some of them went into salsas. I also ate a bunch of my tomatoes. I brought some of those to vacation with Brendan's family or on vacation with Brendan's family. And um, we put those in some of the fresh salads and everyone was just saying how like you can taste the difference of fresh grown produce versus the store bought stuff. So yeah, if you have the space, throw a couple seeds in next April or May. Um, you can always look online, see what zone you're in, what stuff grows best in your area, when's the best time to start seeds, stuff like that. It's really, really fun and rewarding. And yeah, it's just a special thing to kind of do. And it also like, it's almost like having another plant in the sense that like, it gives your life purpose. You know, like, because you, it's your responsibility to water those plants and let them thrive and hopefully get them to produce, uh, like, fruit at the ends of the, the fall or summer or whatever. And it's just, I don't know, nice to kind of wake up and be like, ooh, I want to go outside and water my plants or see if any new flowers have sprouted or anything like that. So, yeah, like I said, if you have the space, think about it, throw a few seeds in and see what happens. Is that going? Okay, it's going. <laughs> Cheers. That worked. That definitely worked. It does feel kind of tough to pull though. I wonder if that's... It could be the mouthpiece, honestly. Let's go this way so I can get maybe a good thumbnail. Okay, I can bring this up now. Hi. I can turn this off. Let's get a good thumbnail. Okay, cheers. This might be the best pumpkin bug I've ever made. Wow. <coughs> it was definitely the mouthpiece that was causing it to be clogged. And, <coughs> whoa. That looks crazy. And there might be a little bit too much water in here. But that's okay. That's okay. I feel like there's pumpkin on my lip. There is. Okay, I had to tweet about the pumpkin pong and I, I stayed on Twitter for a little bit because then I saw someone responded to something about my Sunset Lover stickers and then I had the idea that I want to sticker bomb my iPad case and I think that would be really fun to just like gather a bunch of stickers and then maybe make that into a video or maybe just a live stream. I don't know if it's cool enough for a video, but it could be fun to just like sesh and then kind of like figure out where I want to put them all because I want to get all different sized ones, even some really small ones. I obviously want to have a bunch of the ones that I have made. Um, um, I really, really love the stickers that I just ordered today, so they should be in in like 10-ish days. Um, but they say Sunset Lover. It's a really cute design that I... It's a really cute design that I lettered myself. It started with just like an outline of me, the Sunset Lover, and then I kind of like traced around each letter in like a groovy font, and then I made a circle in the background that's like a nice peachy kind of color. Oh my god, did I just see a bug? Maybe not. 
maybe I'm losing my mind. Um, <laughs> and then I, over the like groovy kind of font in a thinner white, I cursive wrote Sunset Lover and it really just brought me back to the days when I made MySpace layouts because I feel like that was a really big thing was to have like um, a bold, almost thick kind of font and then have a really wispy cursive on top of it that said the same word. Um, and it just, I don't know, it's a full circle moment, you know? This honestly is probably, like, I think it's the most functional pumpkin bong that I've ever made. I'm really impressed. I'm definitely getting some chunks of pumpkin up the mouthpiece, but it's just pumpkin, you know? Okay, I am going to empty this and pack one more bowl, and then we'll just call this a little sesh. So I have another little pillow over here. This is actually going to a follower's home. I have my orange one right here, and then this is one that my mom just made, and I've just been hanging out with it this weekend, and I'm going to take some cute pictures of it tomorrow before we mail it out on Monday, just so we can get some updated pictures of those little um, pillows. I couldn't think of the word pillow. Wow, I can't believe I grew this pumpkin and turned it into a bong. That just blows my mind. Oh, this is perfect! And you can see the bats in the background too. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. Why am I... <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, they're both orange, but, <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> okay, I just edited together like a whole video <laughs> to put onto my Twitter as well, and I just tweeted it. I'm just so excited. Okay, I'm going to take one more hit with you guys and then I'm going to end this video off. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do. I also live stream on Twitch six days a week. I usually take Mondays off, but it's not like a schedule or anything like that. I'll usually live stream around like four or five or between like eight and nine. Or sometimes it'll be really late and I won't stream until like 10 or 11. So it's really all over the place, but I tend to give people a heads up on Twitter like I think I may have been mentioning earlier on here. The live streams are really, really fun. Just the chat on there is so welcoming and kind. It's like the community really makes the whole stream what it is, and it's really special. So please come on over if you are a loner stoner like all of us, especially these pandemic times. I feel like the streams have definitely helped me a lot, and it's cool to just have like a social aspect to look forward to every day even though I'm just chilling alone in my office but cheers thank you for watching this video and just staying until the end I could have caught the bigger hit I was scared That's water. Right, it's a pumpkin. <coughs> Ooh, okay. All right, I'm going to end this video off here. If you stayed until the end, let me know one like festive little thing that you're doing, even if it's just making a regular jack-o'-lantern or making a pumpkin bong. Ooh, let me know. No, let me know if you've ever made a pumpkin bong. That's what you should comment down below. Let me know if it was successful. Let me know how many you've made. I want to hear it all. Okay, I'm going to end this video off here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you. I will see you next Sunday. Stay high. Bye!